Hey, it's Jeremy John here with Kokanee Kid Fishing, where tackle and information come together to get you guys in the game. Hey, uh, today I just wanted to do a quick little tech tip for you guys. For your fish finder, I get a lot of questions about how you dial it in properly. Um, we're up at Odell Lake. You can see we're in 196 feet of water. My speed's 136, and you can see I'm marking a few fish. I can see one of my cables here, which is my line that's down in the water, but I'm really not getting the true picture here. So there's a couple things you're, you can do. Um, I'm using a Garmin 1040 XS, and a lot of your transducers you have, you have a dual, so it'll run two different frequencies. You, you can see I'm running a little bit high. I'm running at 150. So with a Garmin unit, I'm gonna go to menu. I'm gonna switch my frequency and I'm gonna dial that down a little bit. So I prefer somewhere between 80 and 120, and 95 seems to work pretty good for me, so we're just gonna go ahead and click on the 95. We're gonna go back and see what we got. So you can see, uh, the frequency didn't really do too much to this. So the other thing that you need to do is you need to take your gain um, up a little bit. You can see I'm running pretty low. I'm at 68%. So if you take your gain, you can manually push it up, which is going to get you a little bit better picture. But Garmin's got a really good setting for auto high, and that's what I like hitting is auto high. So it's going to automatically go to the highest setting and be able to take the... Uh, the turbulence out of it and you can see I'm already starting to mark more fish comparatively to what I was so I'm getting a little bit better picture you're doing the other tip I'm gonna give you is because I'm only fishing between 60 and 90 feet and I'm marking from 200 feet all the way up I don't really care what's in this area of my screen so another little tip that you can do to get a better picture is take your range from auto and move it up so I'm gonna move mine up to about 125. And if I go back like this, you can see, I can see my downrigger weights. I can see the fish a lot more clearer. I can see fish swimming down. Um, a lot better picture. You're gonna get a lot better information on your screen comparatively the way we were running it there. So quick tip, make sure your range is up. Make sure you're just looking at where you're fishing. Make sure that your frequency is running between somewhere between 80 and 120. Um, and then make sure that that sensitivity is up on high. So um, what I would do is if you don't have a Garmin unit and you can't do the auto high, just keep raising it up um, on your uh, gain. Make sure that it's up until you start getting the clutter. So you can see the less gain I have, the less picture I'm getting. What you wanna do is you wanna raise that up until you start getting fish, but you're not getting all the clutter. So right about there is about perfect. So hopefully this tip helped you out and hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on underneath your boat. See you guys later.